the Yaya Publishing House in a while. I found one just if they have a different The one we read with A that time was pretty cool. Come on, this is a no-brainer, man. There's only one thing worth wishing for, and that is a ton of Mora. But the exam's next week. If I fail again, I'm seriously done for. I'm better off if goes smoothly. It's just an exam. Trust me, there's no problem you can't solve by throwing Mora at it. If it doesn't work, then just keep throwing till it does. What are they talking about? It's the debate. Huh? Really? You guys don't know? But stand on this land at midnight, lower your head and recite a special incantation, then your wish will come true. Looks like you guys really aren't in the loop. This, my friends, is the next big thing. A wish ritual guaranteed to make your wishes. A wish ritual? That works? That's just not how the world works. <laughs> I wished when it worked for someone. A few days I heard it directly from him. He used a searching ritual, and the day he woke up to find his whole bed filled high with mora. Still <laughs> so I'm sure the part of waking up lying on a bed of mora is a bit of an exaggeration. Believe it or not, it's not. I can't hurt. Still feel just ask around. There are very compelling stories going around these days. Really? You'd find be reunited with your twin too. <laughs> I'm closer and a lot of people talking about this kind clear like uh you no thou wait thee uh hear my right Hey, what are you guys up to? Sheesh, you skipped me. Okay. Okay. Uh, where did I go? I but you listen to the answer. So I'll let you go along with it. This is be a little more extreme. People have had all kinds of wishes come more attractive, get quick. Poor struggling to get over a creative hurdle. Is that so much to ask? Anyway, I just this is going to work. I have a good feeling about it. Didn't you say the same thing when you went to make your wish at the Narukami Shrine? I just know this is going to work. I have a gut feeling. The Amori Shrine takes long to any of the time. Let me get this incantation down. It depends on it. Look, to be completely honest, I think you need to sit down and what kind of story you want to write? There's a lot of self when you first started out. Look at you now. Trying dubious methods from any novel. Wait, wait, wait. What? Wishing ritual comes from a light novel? 
one called a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Just appeared nowhere and took Inazuma by As a fellow writer, all from passing comments on how well the story is written, the it contains are the real deal. Look, yes, everyone says it's real. Story. I've also heard lots of people saying that everyone who's had their wish granted the method starts behaving strangely. At probably just giddy with joy at having their wish come true. Hmm, this is starting to sound a little suspicious. Why don't we go to the Grand Narakami Shrine and ask Yaimiko about it? She's the expert when it comes to both light novels and the supernatural. Oh, great, you're here. Well, hello there, Yaman. What brings you to the shrine? It just so happens to have a wonderful night. I highly recommend it. Oh, well, did you want to work? Well, we are too busy. Uh, actually, you look kind of busy. Is this a bad time? <laughs> no, not at all. It's nothing major. Lady Dude, what do you mean, nothing major? I'm begging you, you've got to help me save my brother. It really is nothing major that. Oh, but since you're so curious, I can relate the story one more time, just for you. You two seem to have a good relationship with Guji Ai. Please, put in a good word for me. You have to convince her to help my brother. Here's what happened. My name is Kato Kohei. Brother is Kato Shingo. All he's ever wanted is to become a sword master. So he asks Tomo, the maker of the art, to take him on as a disciple. Took one look at it and said, didn't have to take a sword. My brother wasn't about to resolve to defeat. He trained every day as hard as he could, and finally proved himself by one of his own recently. But since his injury, he's been acting extremely strange. It's like he's become a completely different person. The doctors can't find anything wrong with him. Be the work of evil spirit. That's why I'm here, begging for help. <laughs> you know, they're really spirits lurking around as you seem to think. The goal he'd been striving towards as long as he can remember. Now it's gone. Natural that he feels a little empty and lost while he's trying to find a new direction. If it were me, I'd just leave him be for a couple of days. He'll recover on his own soon. No, Lady Guji. If you saw him for yourself, you'd know. To you, he's not acting like who feels empty and lost. Oh, all right, all right. And tell me, what you spar with Domon's disciple? About five days ago. Five days ago, you say? Yes, Lady Guji. That's a long time for him to be acting up like this. I'm really worried about him. Our group is to one day find our own school, just like Domon. That dream now. Wait a minute, now I'm a little confused. Are you here to save your brother, or are you here to make your founding a martial arts school come true? Uh, well, they're kind of two sides of the same coin, aren't they? Hmm. Uh, let me ask you this: Do you have any interesting new rumors? Oh, I'd love to hear about them. What? Rumors? I... anything. Oh dear. Well, that's too bad. Lady Guji, please stop changing. This is someone's life we're talking about here. Please. You've got to help me. Miko, he seems really... His brother sounds really bad. Come on, you should help him. Okay, fine. Then it's decided. Kato, whatever your name was, are trusted acquaintances of mine, and in fact, they are in resolving all manner of strange and supernatural phenomena. After 
systems. Well, in a day's work for them. Yeah! Uh, wait a sec! Um, r really? Is that hesitation in your voice? So, let me get this straight. You come begging to me for help, I actually recommend someone for the job, then suddenly you start doubting. Not a oh. Trust wholeheartedly. Thank you for your willingness to help. Please. No, hold on a hot second, Nico. We may be a lot of things, but we ain't this. Sism <laughs> just put a handful of salt and mutter the mumbo combo while you're staring around. It's a common trouble. Of bravado, and in self confidence, everything else just. Well, you were the ones who seemed concerned about the situation. Do you think it would be a little thing to make me? Besides, we all know you here unless you have a request for you. This is an opportunity to demonstrate that you come in good faith. But you technically have a point, so... Alright, let's go. Don't worry now, I'll be coming along too. Okay, let's follow Yohei and go visit his brother. Hmm, how strange. My brother's been meditating here pretty much constantly over the past few days, but now he's gone. Meditating? Yeah, it's something that he suddenly started doing. Being Domon's disciple, he just sits there alone talking to himself. It's pretty disturbing, actually. But that's important right now. Where the heck could he have gone in his current state? Hmm, this does pose a bit of a problem. If we other, well, we can't have an exorcism with nothing to exercise, can we? Kato, whatever your name was, given the circumstances. Why don't you start by going to find your brother, and also picking up a handful of salt on your way? We'll need to use it during exorcism. Okay. Uh, okay, got it. I'm on it. Miko, what about us? Shouldn't we help look for his brother, too? <laughs> no need. While What's-His-Face is handling that, we'll take a walk around and ask people what they know about the two brothers. Maybe we'll find out some amusing details. Hello, sir. We'd like to ask you about the Kato brothers. Oh, are you debt collectors? Yohei said to tell you not to worry. He'll be able to pay you back as soon as he has enrolled a few disciples. Huh? Debt collectors? No, we're not here for any of that. But, uh, it's a day in Shingo got Oh, yes. I don't think there's any dispute in that. Have an ounce of in between them. They just hop between ideas and won't say anything. Huh? Your brother is trying to become a swordmaster and even as to be a sensei. That's true, yes. Shingo begged Dom to take him on. Eventually, he finally relented. But even after convincing the same as ever. In, class of in the end, Domon had had enough in his mouth. Shingo was resentful about it. He came Domon and even that he would change Domon to a duel. Wait, what? That's not what we heard. Oh, sting. heard slightly He trained every day as hard as he could and finally proved himself by his disciples in a duel recently. <laughs> Yo, that? That Shingo trained hard. That's ridiculous. He just lay there cussing to high heaven all day. Some training regimen, that is. They did tell me about Shingo winning the fight, but I took it with a grain of salt. You can ask Gentrance more about that. He always has reliable information. Hey there, we've come to ask you about the Kato brothers. 
Oh. Oh, you mean Shingo and Yohei. Yeah! We heard that Shingo defeated an apprentice of Domon's recently. Is that true? <laughs> yes, it's true. Oh, wait, so are you here because you heard they're starting their own school and you're looking to sign up? We're not here to sign up, but we would like to hear more details about the fight. Well, you've come to the right person. I actually went to watch it. I thought it was a joke when I first heard that Shingo was going to challenge a disciple of the The way held his blade it was flowing water, mesmerized by Domo was absolutely no match for Shingo. Oh, really? That's strong? Yep. Winning the duel, too. Was celebrating very vocally saying something like what a duel i haven't felt this good in a long time <laughs> any other details to share we've heard that shingo has been behaving rather out of character since then hmm i definitely say that he has more energy than he used to in the past he never used to do much except lie around sunbathing all day but just yesterday for example i saw him cutting down trees for the village head one afternoon, he did what most people did finish in three days. Not only that, he managed to fell a lavender melon tree with just one kick. Oh. Hmm, quite impressive. Things got weird after that, though. The village head brought out some tofu for him, and he just flipped out. He shouted, What is that stuff? Keep that away from me! And then ran off. Lady Guji, esteemed exorcists, finally I found you. I found my brother. He's at the waterfall, and I've got the salt you asked for, too. Come on, let's go! Oh, as much as I'd prefer to stay and hear some more delicious details, I suppose we'd better be going now that he has been found. So this is Yohei's brother. Whoa, he's meditating while sitting in a waterfall. That's pretty wild. Hey, listen! He's talking to himself. Uh, uh. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Can you feel it? Uh Can you feel the feeling of manliness? Found your own school. <laughs> so shallow. <sighs> How can a manly man? Aspire to something <clears throat> so <clears throat> lame. Uh, please spare me, spare me. I I can't feel the manliness. I can't even feel the cold anymore. I I can't take any more. I'm gonna die. Yohei, Yohei, save me, save me. Did you hear that? All the nonsense aside, he's going for help! Huh? Who... Who goes there? He stood up! And now he's coming this way! No! Don't come any closer! Help! What do we do? Miko, think of something! Oh, poor thing. Yohei, your brother's life is hanging in the balance, and he's using his final breaths to call on you for help. Whatever shall we do? Uh, I... well, how should I know? The way it looks to me is that Shingo feels terribly resentful to you about something. Would you know what that's all I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. You don't know? But surely you should have more insight than anyone else into how your brother came to be this way? Yohei, I suggest you think very carefully before you open your mouth again. This is a life or death situation. Uh, um, um... Uh, uh, um, your brother is your closest relative. You must have noticed straight away when he started acting out of character.
I've all day passed with purpose you to come and seek help from me. You expect me not to notice the gaping holes in your story? But... As you will. Fine by me if you don't want to tell the truth. But after this, you'll be next. It's futile trying to escape. Anywhere in the world you run to, it will be right behind your back. After all, you did some together. Ah! All right, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll tell you everything. My brother and I used a wishing incantation. We made a wish. Yes, yes, that's it. The one that's all the rage right now. You just have to recite an incantation at midnight and your wish will be granted. Just like the book described, we drew the magic symbol, stepped inside it barefoot at midnight, said the incantation, and lo and behold, spheres of light appeared all around us. After my brother wished to become a swordmaster, it really worked. Out of nowhere, he suddenly had these amazing sword skills, but his whole personality changed too. Because I was worried that if he goes back to normal, He'll lose deals with the sword. If that happens, it'd ruin our plans to start a school, and we'd be back to being poor. I just wanted to keep this under wraps until we'd managed to get the dojo set up and pay off. Then why'd you go to the Great Narukami Shrine? Well, because with the way he's acting now, I was worried that rumors might start spreading that he's gotten involved in the occult art thing, and then no one would want to sign up as his disciple. So I was thinking that maybe Lady Gucci would be to get my brother to normal. Let him keep his sword skills. My, look at you with your NG schemes. Stop deluding yourself. These newfound sword skills are not his. They belong to the spirit that has possessed him. You're right, you're right. We were wrong to do it. We had this coming. And then draw your sword. What? What is that? Uh, it's the spirit! See, that's what you summon. And look, now that it goes no use, it's coming straight to you. Just a quick fight, and this will all be over. <laughs> Who's this? Ah, a fellow swordmaster. Come on, fight me! Be careful! <laughs> that was great! Excellent! What a rush! I haven't felt this great in a long, long time. He's so cute! He looked pretty content at the end there. Huh. Well, Paimon sure is confused. Do you know what that was all about? Ah, uh, we can talk about it later. They're about to wake up. <laughs> what am I doing here? Yohei? Yohei, is that you? Shingo, are you all right? Yohei, I had the weirdest dream. I dreamed that I wasn't a useless user with a sword anymore. Maybe one of his disciples. I thought we could finally open the dojo of my own now. But then I couldn't control my own body. There's in my ear talking to me. I was terrified, and I wanted to take control. Talking about manliness. Shingo, we should. Spirit, it passed you. Yes, and to rescue your life would have been over for too much longer. Then, it would have haunted your brother until 
He died of fatigue too. Thank you, Lady Guji. And thank you for your assistance, exorcism experts. All right, take him to get some rest. He's very weak right now, having been possessed for quite a few days. He will experience a high fever, but it won't be fatal. Remember, this is the price you pay. At this point, I would normally lecture you on the dire consequences of using occult methods to obtain power that does not belong to you. But I think you have the picture now, don't you? Yes, we understand now. We won't ever again. Thank you, Lady Guji. Thank you, exorcists. We'll be on our way then. Come on, Shingo. Miko, would they really have lost their lives if we hadn't gotten involved? And if so, why the heck were you so reluctant? Oh, they would have been fine. I escaped. Otherwise, I hardly think these two lazy rascals would have learned their lesson. So, what was it that possessed Shingo? You saw it all for yourself. I'm sure you can figure out what kind of possessed him, can't you? <laughs> Correct. Although it possessed Chino, it didn't have any intentions. As a matter of fact, it seemed like it was trying to train him to become a fooler. Huh. Fair enough. But it seems like it had the opposite effect. Tossing salt caused it to temporarily leave Shingo's body. Then, when you exhausted its strength by fighting, so it disappeared. If we'd done nothing at all, Shingo would have eventually become too weak for his body to part, and it would have left of its own. Of course, it would have been more stressful for Shingo and Yohei that way. <laughs> Still, the experience may ultimately have been more effective than me scaring them into submission with a little exaggeration. Whew. Well, the thing is that nobody got hurt. All right. Seems like we've wrapped up everything here. Come on, off we go. Hold on, Miko. You say everything's wrapped up, but are you sure about that? Hmm? You mean you disagree? Oh, you mean that they got the incantation from that book? Yes, I know the one. Actually, that book's the whole reason we came looking for you at the shrine today. Incantations seem really popular right now. Human beings don't have powers like us yokai. It's quite understandable for them to be interested in incantations to summon the supernatural. That's not the point. The problem is... The book actually capable of spirits and stuff, and most people are trying it. <sighs> Even then, humans have so much strength. Even if they do summon a spirit with the incantation, it won't stop them for very long. We wouldn't fret about it. Who wrote this book? And why? We think there might be a safety risk here. What do you think, Cobbler? Yeah, you think Shingo and but things got pretty scary when Shingo was possessed. <sighs> Lady Yai, I finally found you. Kuroda, what are you doing here? I'm here to report on Yai Publishing House's sales for the last month. All the numbers are here. Please take a look. Let me see. What? We're losing market Yes. Old reader's favorite and trending ranking. We're being beaten in all categories. One book is a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Ow. Miko, what is it? You have a look on your face right now. A first hand summoning spirits all round hit. Novels of the young publishing house by every analysis. Just to mean, I worked extremely hard to promote our latest feature. Now, a rival book comes out of nowhere 
lighter and steals more thunder. The very definition of rule, I don't know what is. I have to come up with a counter plan, and you are going to help. Bigger safety risk. Oh, report Why don't you take a guess? I'll give you a hint. It's to do with the eye publishing house. Mm. Oh, that knows! Combine the publication of the eye publishing house with the status of Gucci Eye and tell everyone that the incantations in that book are dead. Oh, wow! Your first guess and you got it absolutely wrong. is the hottest light novel right now. If we did as you suggest, advertising everyone that they have become real. In the bending right and everyone danger, all we would accomplish is to create more curious readers ready to try them out. So sales for the book would only increase further. Okay, yeah, that would be pretty catastrophic. Hmm. Oh, how about we of the enormous manpower and good qualities besides the incantations alone. The book contains many ancient kaiden, or tales of the supernatural, and is written in a very engaging way. That is why the book has become so popular. Hmm. I think we're going to have a difficult time trying to rein in its popularity while it's the only book in its league on the market. How do you get rid of the next big thing? You rep next, next big thing. So what we're going to do is create Izuma's newest hit novel. Smash our rival's sales numbers and win our readers back. That is how Yaimiko wages war. Incidentally, this will also be the best way to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Wait, Miko. So you want us to write a novel? <laughs> Well, becoming an accomplished novelist certainly isn't an overnight process. But let's not forget that I am the chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. I have my ways. I did say this is what we're going to do. I trust that the word teamwork is in your vocabulary. Anyway, there is a writer submission event going on at the moment. Start by talking to readers and finding out what they're into. When you have an idea of what the current trends are, come back and see me. I'll be at you restaurant. When you're done, I'll assemble the team, and we can work while we eat. For a long time now, I've been playing the big ambitious game awards with the original four times to good. These days, though, by the time I can play, it's just from the the only recent book worth mentioning. Spirits. 
Not only is it story, but the descriptions are really true to life. So much so that I'm almost wondering if maybe the author really has met all those yokai before. The key to a successful light novel is having good illustrations. When to use illustrations, what they should contain, and which artist you should commission for them. These are all key things to bear in mind. Good illustrations can make up for bad writing. But on the flip side, a bad illustration can ruin your novel, even if you have the best story in the world. There's a saying that light novels are essentially a case with that. Too bad most of the top artists have been extremely difficult to commission them. The illustration guide is incredible, but it's unlike any art I've ever seen before. I'll be honest, I read light novels for the cheap thrill. In most traditional stories, the protagonist usually has this long and drawn out character arc, usually involving a process of loss, ultimately growth and renewed strength. It reads well and everything, it's just a little slow paced for me. Like, there's this popular light novel at the moment called A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, where the protagonist is super strong right from the get-go. That's what I mean by cheap thrills. In fact, right on page one. is the kid's who's not only mastered the secret art of incantations, but also teasing and calligraphy. Ha! Ah, there you are. Introduce the team. You've already met Shi and Shigeru. Shigeru is an experienced editor. He's developed a distinct and enduringly popular style. Satomi is Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. Her specialty is that she can write all kinds of completely different stories and all under different pen names. As for what those names are, well, <laughs> that's a trade secret. They will be teaming up with us to collectively create the novel that knocks a first-hand guide to summoning spirits off its perch. So, feeling better about my plan now? deliver a sense of realism. For example, we know we need <laughs> You can answer that question. You have to understand your target audience. Take a first find as common knowledge to the day. No, that are complete unknown to the people of Inazuma. What is commonplace to you may be fresh and original to Different genre than God to summoning spirits. Uh, is that gonna be a problem? Not at all. You don't have to worry so much about how to compete with that book. All you have to do is provide some interesting ideas based on your travel experiences. As long as the core content is interesting, flesh out the details. All right, let's start with chapter one then. What are you thinking? No! No one would ever go for that! No matter how you tried to play it! Hmm... Out of a maximum of 10 points, I'd give that a 9. Is there really flying emergency food in other worlds? How does it taste? And how do you cook it? 
An easy way to grab the reader's attention. Never underestimate the appeal of culinary or... experiences but it seems you're hearing that the lens of the kinds of light novels you've read in the past i think you really understand what you're trying to do here thoughts from the experts are we able to work with this general framework to make an interesting story yeah we think it works i tend to complicate the core concept if i'm not careful so this deals with that problem <laughs> That's good. Okay, we're done with chapter one. Let's move on to chapter two. Huh? Did that do for now? Readers think. If we don't keep delivering the goods now we've caught their attention, all our hard work so far is in vain. Hurry, chapter two, let's go. Can't you see that Satomi is waiting? Huh? What's wrong with you? You don't look so good. Hmm, what a pity. I thought your beginner's luck would carry you a little further before it came to this. But alas, the time has come for you. The bane of our existence. Run block. It's your life. Appearing without warning and inflicting a pain worse than death upon the rider. They sell their soul to get their muse back. Sounds awful! When this happens, the best thing you can do is have a bite to eat and take a break. <coughs> Boss, get me a plate for and get some kushikatsu for these two. What's the basic kind will do? Don't worry. This is a treat. the hard work we're doing right of course everyone that takes part in the creative process will be paid all right cool then let's press on shall we don't give up now for this of our paycheck get your brain going oh oh does this mean your inspirations come back let's see now the protagonist arrives in Lincoln. a young man who doesn't have the money to pay for it only later do we find out that this young man is none other than Rex Lapis himself. With the help of the Chishing and the protection of the Adepti, I am free to roam this vast realm. Hmm. Is this the kind of cheap thrill that that guy was talking about? Hmm. I give it a 9.8. The story is fun and action-packed, with no dark undertones. Also, there are a great many legends about Rex Lapis. I'm sure it will spark the people's curiosity. I, for one, think there's a sizable market for this. Approved. All right, well, let's just hope Jean Lee doesn't mind. Great, well, now Satomi can get started on that. Leave it to me, Lady Yai. Let's write about Inazuma in the third chapter, shall we? I can help with this one. We can use the Vision Hunt Decree or your experience in the Resistance. Any ideas? Hmm. Clearly very closely based on your own personal experience, with no major changes at all. That's fine. Since it's something that took place in Inazuma, it might actually be more interesting to readers if it's grounded in the truth. One thing, though. We'll need to rewrite the part about me giving you the Omomori. Let's change it to... The mysterious Lady Kitsune teaches the protagonist a spell that can make their wishes come true. The protagonist uses this spell to defeat the Raiden Shogun in battle. That should do the trick. Whoa. So we're really going head to head with our rival on this one, huh? <laughs> I suppose so. Once they're done writing the manuscript, I'll write the passage where the protagonist recites the incantation myself. Are we done then? Do you really think this will be able to beat a first-hand guide to summoning spirits? The content is fine. Now we just need to promote it. 
I will contact an artist to make some illustrations. I'm positive they will be at least as good as those in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. We'll also need an endorsement on a paper band around the book. I can get the wonderful Ms. Hina to write that. She runs a regular Q&A column in That's Life magazine. The people of Inazuma absolutely adore her. You're free to take a break while the creative team is doing their work, but please go by the Yai Publishing House at some point to commission Ms. Hina for that recommendation. Once our light novel is complete, let's meet at the writer's submission event. Miss Hina doesn't usually do endorsements, but since it's Lady Guji that's asking, we'll see what we can do. With Miss Hina getting so popular lately, a lot of people have come to us hoping to do a collaboration. But Miss Hina's not interested in any of it. She still prefers to focus all her efforts on replying to readers' letters and turns down every promotional opportunity she can. Maybe that's why her fans like her so much. <laughs> I, I'm getting off topic here. Anyway, if we can get that endorsement from Miss Hina, you'll definitely get an exposure boost at the beginning. May your light novel sell well and set a new record for the Yai Publishing House. We'll do our best. Are you sure you'd like to submit this entry? Let me see. The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler by Thousand Hands. What a strange pen name. Definitely your doing. Having been around you so much recently, Paimon's slowly starting to understand your unique tastes. What do you mean, strange? It took a lot of work by a lot of different people to get this thing finished. Don't you think it's a very descriptive pen name? We'll get this printed as a matter of priority and conduct trial sales in pilot locations throughout Inazuma. I'll announce the sales numbers in three days. Uh-oh. Paimon's getting a little nervous now. Do you really think this is gonna work? That's right. Confident in your work. That's exactly how a light novelist should be. I just received Oh, that's great! This level of success is an amazing accomplishment for a new work. Most new books don't sell 30% of what you've sold. <laughs> I have free copies for each of you here. Please take them. The payment will follow shortly, and I'll notify you to come and collect it when the time comes. Oh, yeah! The whole reason why we made this light novel was to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Hmm. We sold a lot of copies, but it doesn't feel like we accomplished our goal. How do we know whether it worked? <laughs> oh, don't worry. The change is already underway. Shh. Listen to what the people around us are talking about. The conversation has already moved on, hasn't it? Hey guys, have you heard about this latest Kaidan thing doing the rounds? You just need to recite the incantation from a first-hand guide to summoning spirits at midnight, and your wish will come true! Oh that? <laughs> That's a throwback. That's old news, man. No one's talking about that anymore. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune is the new hit thing. I've already memorized all the incantations. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune? What's that? You haven't read it yet? Okay, so supposedly, if you recite the spell in there on a moonless night, you'll receive protection of the Kitsune and all the other powerful yokai. They can make any of your wishes come true. I heard that the incantations in a first-hand guide to summoning spirits have weird side effects. This one guy wished for a load of mora and got it, but then one night, it all turned to leaves and he developed a high fever. They actually had to use one of the secret spells of Lady Kitsune to get rid of the discomfort. That proves that the incantations in this book are more potent than the ones everyone was trying before. Pretty much everyone I know is trying out. Shifting focus! But... This 
night that they're tough. Hyman doesn't remember that detail from the <laughs> This is something important to us further down the line. All right, it's time to move on to the next phase of the plan. Eh? There's a phase two? Of course. Behind every book that hits the market lies an author, right? Oh, yeah. If we leave him to his own devices, Figure out what his murder writing was! Exactly. That's what we need to take care of next. Fortunately, I've already... Only this time, who possessed him actively sent. After his novel submission failed, he was walking aimlessly in Araumi. In doubt, please, let me retrieve me. After that, he thought he was So we can just use the method to make it itself. To the perfect control. Oh, we're talking about. And it's just about to begin. <laughs> 